Hi, my name is Blair, and I am a wood junkie. I've got an addiction problem. I just, I can't throw away a good piece of wood. I've been collecting wood for 40 years. Sometimes I use it. Most of the time I pile it up and look at it. I dream about the projects that I'm going to use it on. But then I just get more wood. Doesn't what doesn't really matter what kind of wood. I kind of like hardwoods the best, but I collect softwoods too. <sighs> I've got a problem. <sighs> Look at that tree over there. I'll bet that would make some nice two by fours. Yeah. Now, some people have asked me to talk a little bit about my collection of exotic woods, and I've got a basement full of just extraordinary woods that I've been collecting for a long, long time. I've got everything from Macassar Ebony to Cambodian Rosewood to really high quality maples, um, just, you know, gunstock blanks of some of the finest crotch walnut. This piece down here is uh, Lignum Vitae, really interesting. I've got Cocobolo, I've got Pernambuco, I've got just so many, many different types of woods. And then I've got a lot of woods that I have milled myself that are equally as interesting, not near as uh, as exotic. Um, I've got a bunch of pear wood, I've got a bunch of olive wood. Then back over on this side, let's see if I can find a light back here. I've got quite a collection of different woods that I've been putting together. Everything from ash to maple to oak. I've got a bunch of camphor back over there. Uh, elm, cypress. This whole pile over here is Monterey cypress, which is pretty interesting. I've got odds and ends woods that I've been doing a lot of sorting lately and trying to get everything in a little better order. But some of these woods are just absolutely incredible. You know, woods that you don't really think about too often. You know, camphor wood. Camphor is just an amazingly beautiful wood, and it takes a beautiful luster. Uh, but you don't find it in, in the stores too much. Here's a piece that I recently planed down. This is, uh, this, is, this is an interesting wood. There's a few cracks in it, but it's an interesting piece. I've never cut down camper down elm except for one tree and I saved all of these pieces of it. So that's looking for a special project. Got a little bit of liquid amber. I got odds and end woods everywhere. These are all some really interesting pieces of maple. It's a hard maple. And let's go over to the, the walnut section. Okay. Ah, this is interesting. This is my nuts and bolts collection. I've had a few friends who have gotten on in age and passed away and I've inherited a few things. I've got an incredible nuts and bolts collection. Everything in here is stainless. So I've got from tiny to really big, you know, just incredible amount of stuff. And it's kind of neat to have your own little hardware store. Look at that. Just everything you want in the collection. And this this is also full of everything you need. I've really got tens of thousands of dollars worth of, of parts here, which I freely give away to my friends. Uh, if they need something, I, I let them come by and sort through it. So I've got some beautiful walnut here. This whole pile is walnut. There's some uh, tulip poplar over there, over here. This is all walnut. Carrying on, here's some more walnut. It's a little dark over here. This is all ash in this pile here. There's a collection of uh, tulip poplar. I've got a bit of black locust in here and odds and ends woods as well. And then over on that side, I've got some special pieces of, of walnut. One of my goals is to someday do a Maloof rocker and this is going to be the seat. I'm going to have to do it. It's really dark in here. But this is some of the highest figured 
fiddle back crotch wood on a, on a walnut that I've ever seen. And I've got a bunch of pieces all set aside just for that, that um, rocking chair that I want to make. And if you're not familiar with uh, a Maloof rocker, M-A-L-O-O-F, Sam Maloof, designed and built one of the most incredible rocking chairs I've ever seen. And they're real collector's items these days. So I've got so much down here to deal with. Just sorting stuff is a real challenge. Back in here, oh, this is, you can't see this at all up here, but this is turning blanks and blocks of wood. These are all interesting pieces of wood, assortments of different stuff. I've set those aside. They're small bits, and I've got a bunch of turning blocks over here. Uh, oh, this is kind of interesting. This is a piece of bay burl that I sliced up. I've got a few pieces of that, of that in here. And this is just a part of my collection of wood. What am I going to do with this beautiful piece of wood? Macaster ebony. Wow. All right, in fairness, I think I need to talk a little bit about why I have so much wood. About 10 years ago, I owned a lumber yard and I had a deal with a good friend of mine who now owns Global Wood Source that I did all of his custom milling. So in payment, I often took a percentage of the wood. So he brought in woods from all over the world, some of the finest logs that you could ever imagine, the ebonies and the, the rosewoods and some of the exotics. And like I said, a lot of these are woods that I've milled from local jobs. There's a picture of some of the wood I've got stocked up in my shop. It's kind of overwhelming. And then we've got the secret room. Back in here. Oh, I can't even talk about that. So anyway, that's my wood collection. Oh, here's a neat piece of wood. This is the only piece of eucalyptus that I've, I've milled. And I milled that about 20 years ago. It's incredibly dense, incredibly heavy. And because I've only got one piece of it, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. But a project will come to mind someday. So anyway, some people call me a wood hoarder. I'm just planning for a future of lots and lots of years of working in my wood shop. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And what am I going to do with this beautiful piece of wood? Macaster ebony. Wow. And I've got lots of odds and ends pieces, but it's been a fun hobby and I have sold wood. I also sell veneer. So, uh, well, hope you enjoyed that.